All right guys, Elijah's back with Baseball Express and today we're gonna to be reviewing the Dovetail Trimmer. So this is actually their first metal bat they've ever released. They're pretty much a predominantly wood bat company if you haven't heard of them. They make some awesome birch wood bats. Um, but yeah guys, this is actually gonna be, like I said, their first metal, or a shot at a metal bat. I've heard a lot of great things. It's actually going to be a hybrid bat, so it's got a full composite handle with an alloy barrel. I mean, you can tell it's gonna be pretty pingy, it's gonna be pretty loud. Um, but I am pretty excited. They've actually even patented this Pro XR technology, which is this crazy handle, which is very similar to the Axe Bat, but it's quite, it's not quite the Axe Bat. So it's actually something you angle. So the Axe Bat, it kind of sits in your hands like this. This one's going to be a little bit angled more if you're a righty. So if we're swinging like this, it's going to be angled more towards the shortstop, not directly towards the pitcher like you would with an Axe Handle. Um, but yeah, guys, we're pretty, I'm actually pretty excited to swing this. I'm, I'm a real big fan of this Pro XR technology. Um, the bat for the design itself, um, not so crazy about it, but that's not a big deal, especially when you're playing the game. If it bangs, it bangs. I really don't care if it's an all-black bat like a String King or if it's got some whack crazy design like a Voodoo or a DeMarini bat. Um, yeah, so not super crazy on the design. It's very simple, very basic. Gives you the logo, gives you the name, a um, couple specs. The specs 3330 right here on the handle. Nowhere else on the bat, not even on the knob, which is... That's different. Um, I think a couple more bats are kind of leaning that way anyway, but then we got dovetail bats right here on the other side. Grip feels pretty solid. Um, no complaints here. I mean, nothing nothing super out of the ordinary. It's no it's no D-Marine. D-Marine really stepped it up on their grips. It's a little thin, um, but it's got this cool XR um, logo on here, which is pretty cool. I'm not going to lie. It's pretty sick. So yeah, pretty excited to swing this. They've actually also sent, which we're also going to swing, but I've already kind of been swinging these for a bit. If you can't tell when I show you is these dovetail birch. Um, yeah, so this is the 911 and whew, and this is also an XR, so that's awesome too. So we're gonna swing this one as well. Both birch, um, that's kind of what they what they kind of go with over there, man. It's fine. The only difference I'd say between the birch and like a maple or an ash, ash probably towards the latter end of wood bats, maple being the the golden standard. Um, birch is gonna be a little bit more of a quieter swing, it's not gonna have that massive crack. It's a little bit of a softer wood, but that doesn't take away from the pop, doesn't take away from the power. In fact, in my opinion, it feels pretty damn smooth. Uh, I've pretty much used these, I've used, actually, I think this one's just scuffed from being in my car. No, I've taken a couple hacks with it, I can't remember. I've taken a couple hacks with it, not on camera, in more game situations. Um, I actually barreled one <laughs> this past weekend in, a, in my game. This, this is kind of my go-to right now. I love this sanded knob here, it feels awesome. But we're gonna take some VP swings. Um, we're going to see how it feels in the cage, repeatedly swing it, see if I can get some, you know, see where we're at with it, uh, with these woodies. But yeah, guys, we're going to be an all dovetail day today. So we got these two birch bats and we've got the tremor. So let's see how this goes. That's better. Hang on. Swings dovetail. Pretty good, I barreled down, I feel pretty solid. Awesome. Oh, broken. This is 
Okay. Actually, it wasn't bad. Was it J Rock show? Yeah, seriously. J Rock show. Eighty-nine, dude. That ball was smashed. Bro, these are. These, I'm not even kidding. These have to be the smoothest wood bats I've swung in a really long time. Dude, I'm not even. I'm not even kidding. I'm being dead ass serious. <clears throat> Alright guys, time to give you my final thoughts on these dovetail bats, the trimmer, and the 911 with, and then this um, PA20 Pro XR, yeah, Pro XR handle. Um, yeah guys, so real quick, so if you can't tell I'm doing it back here in my apartment office, um, weather's actually pretty bad. I was actually supposed to film this ending yesterday, weather got really nasty, weather's still nasty out here today, I wasn't feeling like driving to the office, so I figured we'd get it done here. So we can get this video out to you guys. So starting off first off with the um, the meat and potatoes of this review is going to be the trimmer. Um, yeah, guys, the bat. Okay, so I'll start off what I liked about it. Um, the bat felt really good. Every time you squared it, it felt full. It felt like thick almost. I don't know how to describe it. it and it felt really, there, you could feel the ball jumping off the bat. <clears throat> Only thing that, and I don't know if maybe this is mine and maybe it got damaged somewhere. It's been sitting since they sent it to me. I haven't done anything with it. It's literally been hanging in my bat rack in my office closet. Um, but it sounds like you can hear that. Like I said, I don't know if, if this thing's broken. I mean, it doesn't look broken. Um, but if, if there is something wrong with it, that could explain what I really didn't like about it. Now, I was hitting balls, you know, and I was spraying the gaps. It felt really good. Like I said, it felt full. It felt, it felt really good. There wasn't, there wasn't a whole lot of forgiveness on the barrel aspect of it towards the end. Like I said, when, I mean, when I was swinging it, the barrel is, is kind of small for a hybrid bat. Um, it, it's pretty much within this logo. I mean, if you square it here, it's gonna feel pretty good. Um, you're gonna see the ball fly off a little bit. Um, the one thing that I was a little bit disappointed with was, and, and this is like, and this is something that I think is kind of a new age thing, it's not really that important, um, was the exit below. This thing barely broke 90. Obviously, Mike, our guy was throwing me BP, it was only probably like 35 miles an hour or so. Uh, it's hard to tell if that was kind of a factor into it or not. You know, uh, we did swing the goods um, two piece right after this. We didn't put it on camera because I didn't really feel like comparing the two because they are two different kind of bats. They are the same hybrid, but I didn't want to put them together and kind of do anything like that. So, and, and the thing was is that even with those, you know, the, the goods was at about 95, 96. So, I don't know. Like I said, I, I'd like to chalk it up to maybe this thing was just a little not all here I don't know um, but when I did hit it I did square it, it did feel really good so that's something and, and the cool thing about it is like if you're spraying the field if you're taking if you're hitting gaps and you're hitting shots exit velo really doesn't matter in my opinion I, you know exit velo doesn't matter in the game if you're getting hits or not you're getting on base that's what matters the most and this thing felt good when I squared it so I'm, I'm pretty happy with it exit velo like I said not a huge deal though it didn't really jump off the page like some of these other hybrid bats uh, but it is what it is. But yeah, I'm definitely going to be reaching out to Dovetail to make sure we got a solid bat because this does bother me. And I didn't notice it till like the end of the review when we were done picking things up and Mike handed me the bat. And I think I just like hit it on the ground just because it's out of habit and it doesn't sound good. <laughs> but like I said, I don't know if that's the bat. Maybe they all sound like this. I don't know. It's just maybe something I'm not used to. Um, but yeah, guys, not not a bad pickup for 300 bucks. It's not bad. Um, the only thing, I, like I said, is the exit velo doesn't jump off, but the bat feels good. Doesn't have a whole lot of forgiveness, but if you do barrel it, I was spraying gaps, and I was I was pretty satisfied with the way it felt. I mean, it felt full. So nothing too much, nothing too crazy there. Um, now onto what really blew me away. So like I said, I've been using. So we'll start off with the 911. I've been using these, and we'll just put them together. Um, I've been using these in game situations. Um, and it felt good, you know, we swung them on the field a couple weeks ago, that felt good too. Um, yeah guys, and this is something that I haven't really said a lot about because I'm a huge Marucci guy, I'm a huge Vectus guy, I love those bats. Um, though they are maple, um, if you've never swung a birch before, I highly recommend you check out Dovetail because, and like I said in the video and on our socials, these, both of them are some of the smoothest hitting bats. I think I've swung in a really long time. And that's putting them up against some of these big time, you know, game spec, you know, pro model woodies that I've been swinging that I have that I swing on and on numerous occasions. And I was swinging these in occasion. My swing just felt so smooth through the zone. They're, they're balanced really well. Um, I mean, even capping them felt good. Even on the inner half, obviously, you're going to get that little pinch, that little bit of vibration. It's not going to feel phenomenal, but it still wasn't that bad. 
I mean, when I, and then when I barreled it, my gosh, guys, these things feel phenomenal. You can feel the ball jump off the bat. I mean, it was, it was insane. So, and like I, I was telling the guys at Dovetail, like I want, I would put these bats up against any big time, you know, MLB certified wood bat any day of the week. They feel awesome. The designs look great. I am a huge advocate for this Pro XR handle. It just helps me get my hand through the zone. It's a little weird. It's a little different from the ax handle um, in, in a couple different ways, but I mean, this thing is, it's interesting and you get a little, it's a little bit of a weird feeling at first, but once you like kind of get used to it and you start to feel it right, I mean, it feels awesome in your hands and it helps just get, extend the hands through the zone. Huge advocate there. And then, I mean, this thing with this, this matte sanded finish, dude, these bats are legit. I mean, I, I can't say enough of good things about them. And like I said, I'd put them up against any big time uh, MLB certified bats in the game right now. These things are... I'm almost speechless. These things are phenomenal. But yeah, so enough gushing over these guys. Thank you so much for watching. Like I said, you can pick up the dovetail trimmer. And like I said, I'll, I'll get you guys an update on our socials to make sure that this thing is is right and it's not broken or something. And like I said, I, I didn't bang it around. I got it. Me and Mike checked it out when they first sent it about a month ago. And we stuck it in my office closet because we had a lot of other reviews to get through. Finally got to it and then we found that that, that was the issue. I don't know if that's really the issue or not, but we're, we're going to find out. But um. Hey guys, thanks for watching, and like I said, you can pick that bad boy up at Dovetail Bats for $299.99, which is about $300. Bucks. Not a bad price for a hybrid, considering the price points on quite a few other ones. It's pretty much right in there with the, you know, the Merchie Connect, um, the Goods, uh, the Encore Hybrid, maybe a little bit priced a little bit higher, but for the most part, they're all around that same price range. There's not anything out of the ordinary if you're looking for a hybrid. Um, these guys wood bats, I think, you know, let me, don't, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna speak out of term here because we sell them at one price and they may sell them at another, but I want to make sure I'm giving you the correct price. Give me two seconds here. Um, yeah, so I mean, these things kind of range. It depends if you're what kind of you know bats you're you're rocking. I mean, they do make they do make a lot of birch. They also make a lot of uh, maples. I see they have one here, so they range. You know, it goes from 149 to 189, 199 depends on what cut you get. Um, but like I said, guys, if you're looking for a wood bat and you haven't been really happy with any of the big name guys out there, I would highly, highly recommend checking out Dovetail and make some sweet bats. But yeah, guys, thanks so much for watching. We appreciate it. Be sure to follow us, like, subscribe on all our socials and here on YouTube. We've got a lot more stuff coming. I think the next one, like I said, uh, we're going to be doing um, all three of the Easton 2023 BB cores and kind of pairing them together, which is the uh, Encore Hybrid, um, Hype Comp, and then the Alpha ALS, which we haven't swung yet, so I'm super pumped and then we're going to put them all together. So. Thank you guys for watching. I'll stay safe and we'll see you in the next one.